Hey guys, how's it going? I've um, been trying my hand at some bailing sponges that you'd use on a kayak, a canoe, or a zodiac and such. Um, I got a $1 sponge. This one was actually rounded. And I uh, got this chamois at Job Lot. And I uh, can't remember what I paid, but there was quite a bit of it for a decent amount of money. And it's the same material that they use on the actual bailing sponges that you'd get at REI or EMS. So um, it's a lot cheaper. The sponge costs a buck. This stuff is probably a couple of bucks. And I know these these go for around $15 a piece. Um, I'm about to make a few more. If you've got regular um, open cell foam, you can do the same thing. And all you're going to be doing is um, sewing. I'm going to trim this a little bit further. You're just going to be sewing this pleat this way. And you're going to be sewing it this way. Then you're going to turn it inside out. And... Um, the final, the final seam will be on the outside. So all the other seams are internally done. And then uh, that right before you close it, um, you'd have a seam on the outside. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. That's the way I do it. I'm not a really good at sewing. Picked up this machine uh, right before Christmas and been uh, making um, different outdoor products. Trying my hand at uh, hammock chairs and um, tarp edges and such. So figured I'd, I needed a few of these and my goodness $15 a piece I need three or four um, I'll be able to make three or four for less than the price of one at the store so uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done with this one but um, check it out all right guys once you're done with uh, sewing just tie the ends. It's funny, I had a discussion with my buddy Jeep over at Econo Challenge a few months ago about sewing. He's really good at it, and I'm not. I was trying to get a few pointers, but uh, still in the learning phase. So once you've got these two um, seams done here, I'm actually going to trim trim this piece right here. All you're going to do is uh, turn it inside out, but i um, got to trim this first. All right, so once it's all trimmed, you just uh, kind of grab it. Turn it inside out. And you can do the same thing with your old, I'm doing, I'm actually doing it on some of these. The old bale sponges that I had, I just um, cut the old fabric off that was already rotted and, and uh, breaking away and just use the uh, internal sponge because it doesn't really break down and just make a new cover for it. Save yourself 15 bucks. Kind of squeeze it down. and uh, slide it in and once you're done getting it all the way in and fitting it the way you want you can cut the length on it there you go so now all I'm going to do is cut the length stitch this end take some old shock cord stitch that into the corner so that I can uh, bungee it on the kayak all right, for the guys, canoe it's not perfect um, I've got a long way to go. I'm not an expert, but I'll tell you what um, For a bailing sponge for a kayak or a canoe is really uh, it's really a no-brainer got the old bungee off of one of my old ones and just um, Guys put, and put uh, fabric you've got the extra material. Don't be afraid to you can you know stick some small sponges from your kitchen in here um, And make the same if you get extra fabric you can uh, some of the scraps I'm thinking of just folding up and um, Making myself a small sponge out of it um, also, these scraps are great for sticking in between your pots and pans when you're hiking um, and for your, kitchens, your kitchen set uh, for camping. And uh, I actually have uh, some larger sheets of this that I actually use to, to dry my body in my uh, scuba right, guys, diving bag. Safe trails, safe paddling, and peace.